I think it's the culmination of this buying of the political process by the financial sector that reached its apex in 2008. And so lackeys of both parties across the entire political spectrum, you know, did whatever was necessary to save their financial masters, essentially. All right. This is the worst financial catastrophe in the history of the universe. The universe. And why? It's because bankers have misallocated capital. It's that's their single job. They're supposed to allocate capital into productive enterprises, right. not into fraud and casinos and, and, and scams. Right. And how do they do that? They, they do that by using derivatives to steer the risk of capitalism into the public domain and they keep the reward. When derivatives and the, the options volatility formula is kind of like the um, splitting of the atom. Splitting of the atom. They, they split, they, they split capitalism, between capitalism between risk and between reward risk and created, and created a, a financial, financial nuclear bomb, nuclear bomb. Uh, in which they keep all of the reward and all the risk is uh, rotting in the rest of the, of the society. Chicago Board of Trade taunts Occupy Chicago. We are the 1%. You know, the Occupy Wall Street spread to Chicago. And you see this photo here, Max. This is from the Chicago Board of Trade. And they put up posters inside saying, we are the 1%. Well, Chicago, Chicago Board of Options, Board of options. They see Herbert, they see of course, at the site of listed options listed back in the 1970s. The, 1970s. the beginning of derivatives, of derivatives. as a term that's understood, understood today. today. And these are, and these are kind, kind of the ground zero, zero of financial, of financial of terrorists. The Chicago terrorists. School, School of Economics is there. This is where Obama came from, and Milton Friedman, a neoliberal school. Well, many people don't know this, but Marie Antoinette actually did the same thing. She hung a poster outside of Versailles saying, I am the 1%. And um, here's an image from the 1800s, I guess, and this is a picture of her uh, being led to the guillotine. Mm. And I have another picture here, Max. This is the actual blade used to cut her head off soon after she put up her banner saying, I am the 1%. I've got a bit on that. <laughs> I'd like to add that to my collection, my Robespierrean collection of Reign of Terror memorabilia. With prices for Reign of Terror memorabilia are skyrocketing uh, all over the world as uh, people begin to, people remember begin to remember some of the uh, some of actions the, uh, that they actions can take. They can yes, and I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying this is what happens in history. Well, I've been saying, you know, that you need to have um, something in your back pocket to scare the bankers with. If Hank Paulson can say we need a $3 trillion bazooka, to scare the banks into giving us more money, then the 99% can say we've got the guillotine. When the TARP program began, we said they were building the bailout bubble. And when all else fails, you can see it happening. The crash of 29, the Great Depression, currency wars, trade wars, world wars, the panic of 08, the Great Depression that we're in, the currency wars, the Senate just passed a currency bill against China. China has responded that trade wars are beginning. The financial uh, cabinet minister of Brazil, Montega, currency wars are underway. Panic, depression, currency wars, trade wars, real wars. The world is at war. Only an idiot or somebody totally out of touch can't add it up. Let's go around the globe. Tunisia, Egypt, Yemen, now Saudi Arabia, Libya, Syria, Bahrain, Algeria, Nigeria, Somalia, Ivory Coast. Go over to the UK, riots in the streets this last uh, summer. Over in Spain, take a trip over to Greece. Hey, now right here in the USA, this whole Occupy movement, it's in Denver, it's in Portland, it's in Seattle, it's in San Diego, it's in Los Angeles, it's in Auburn, it's in Trenton, it's in Atlanta, it's everywhere, Birmingham, Phoenix, San Diego, Sacramento, it's spreading. The first great war of the 21st century has begun. 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 Begun.